Hello and welcome to DAP Radar, your most trusted source for DAP data. So in this video, um, I am going to be going a bit more in depth into hash masks. So I've done a few videos about hash masks, um, but now um, I'm going to do a video about one of the interesting things about hash masks, which is the fact you can name them. So this here um, is my um, hash mask. So I, I um, decided in the end to, to buy one. It's not a particularly valuable one. Um, but it is uh, <laughs> one of the ones I liked. I, I have to say personally, I don't think many of the hash masks are particularly um, beautiful by any means. Um, so anyway, this is the one um, that I acquired and it is um, the type here is, um, we click on it. Um, so the main characteristic here is uh, that it is the, uh, the mask is a crayon. So it's this basically crayon design, um, which, uh, I thought was nicer than a lot of the other ones are skulls and things like that, which I thought were not so nice. So anyway, so I have this hash mask, um, which I bought on OpenSea, um, which is one of the big Ethereum uh, marketplaces for NFTs. As you can see here, um, it is unnamed. So when um, hash masks um, were, uh, when people bought them originally, they were all unnamed. Um, and then people uh, could name them if they wanted to. Um, only uh, there was an interesting kind of game gamification here that only um, you know that only one hash mask can be called the same thing. So you can't call um, if one hash mask the first hash mask to be named say Trump or Biden um, means that no other hashtag uh, no other hash ma ma mask can be named Trump or Biden. Um, although obviously if someone called their hash mask Trump, you could call yours Donald Trump or I don't like Donald Trump or whatever <laughs> variation you wanted to do that. So there's an interesting kind of sort of um, collectible thing going on here with the mask and also an interesting um, kind, of, kind of a game theory going on with the names. Um, and particularly because um, you can change the names. So even if something has, even if a hash mask has been named, you can rename it. Obviously, you can't rename it into something that's into a name that's already been named. Um, and you also have used this token. So there's this token called the uh, NCT token. Um, and if you get enough of those tokens, you can rename. So if this um, hash mask was called Trump and I didn't want it to be called Trump, I could I could spend these tokens and rename it. In fact, this one's not been named at all. So I need, actually I need these tokens just to name it. So the person, actually the person who I bought this off of had basically, because um, I think when you bought a hash mask, um, it came with um, the tokens. I think that's the case. Um, so, so the person seems to have kind of, um, when I bought this off, I'm not handed the tokens over. The other thing to say is um, that the the hash masks do accumulate tokens over time. So you can see here, this hash mask has accumulated 50, almost 51 of these NCT tokens. So basically every six months or so you can rename, you, you get enough tokens to rename your hash mask kind of organically because it's just generating these tokens over time. Um, or you can go and just buy some of these tokens on, on Uniswap or another exchange, which is what I did, which is why I have these tokens. Um, so anyway, um, so let's go and see if this works. Um, I've obviously never done it before, so I'm not entirely sure um, how it's going to work, and probably the gas fee is going to be horribly expensive. Um, but um, anyway, we'll have to deal with that. So let's go to change name. So enter the new name. So um, I'm just going to check um, here um, what I'm going to call my... Um, uh, hash mask. So um, I, I did have a bit of a think about this and looked up a few weird um, kind of Greek uh, words for kind of mask and, and some philosophy stuff. Cause that's what I like. But uh, I thought that was a bit pretentious. So um, I don't know if someone has called this already, um, but I, I'm going to call it. Um, I'm going to call him Grima, which is related to the word Grima which is mask in Old Norse. So, so Grimur is kind of, um, is kind of like a, uh, a kind of a, a, a name, a kind of a, a Viking sort of name um, that's related to the, the word um, mask, which is Grimma with, a, with an A. So I thought that was quite interesting, um, given it's hash mask. So let's see if this works. Um, hit change name. And here we go. So I'm going to have to um, pay for this transaction. So it's forty dollars gas fee, which is um, very expensive, but um, I don't think it's going to get any cheaper. So obviously, with this sort of thing, I want to I want to make sure I'm the one who claims this name because I've spent a bit of time thinking about it. And if 
if someone else had called theirs uh, this name, then I wouldn't be totally upset. I'd have to think of another name, and I, <laughs> and, I and I like this one, so I'm going to hit that. Um, so I just have to wait for the uh, Ethereum blockchain to um, save that, and then then basically the the this uh, hash mask will be will be named permanently um, until um, either I decide I want to change it by going waiting around to get some waiting around for these NCT tokens to um, to accumulate in, in my wallet um, or I have to claim them actually um, uh, or I have to go out and buy some more um, and it was about um, I'm trying to think what it was it was about 100 150 dollars or something like that I think to accumulate them uh, to uh, go and buy them um, the price has gone down a lot actually um, uh, so um, that was cheaper than I thought it might be um, but if you're gonna buy a hash mask then part of the fun of it is to is to name it i don't want to have a hash mask that's, that's not named that be the no point buying one in the first place at least that's what i think so anyway um we'll just leave that going um and uh hopefully it should clear through quickly okay and there we have it so for some reason um on the hash mask website it still says this transaction's pending but actually um i've checked and it has gone through we can see here now that this um, hash mask is now uh, named uh, grima um, we can also see if we needed to check that my um, number of NCT uh, tokens in my wallet has been reduced <laughs> by uh, 1,830, which is the amount you need to to, uh, to rename it. So so it has gone through, um, and that has uh, now um, <laughs> can be seen um, that I have renamed um, my hash mask. So um, actually a fairly straightforward process, um, apart from the high uh, gas fees that we are dealing with on Ethereum at the moment. Um, uh, but I do think there is a, uh, as much as I am unsure about the artistic value necessarily of what some of the hash masks, I do think this naming um, uh, kind of feature is is really interesting. And, and whether over time, how it will develop, we will have to wait and see. So actually, um, this uh, NTC token is is um, accumulated by every hash, every own hash mask for up to 10 years. Um, so it kind of tapers away. Um, uh, and then after 10 years, no more of no more NCT tokens are generated. So at that point, there's a kind of like a the fixed supply that hasn't been um, used up because whenever you um, rename or name your hash mask, those tokens are effectively destroyed or burnt, as we say. Um, so over time, there will be a, a dwindling amount of these tokens left. Um, so if people people uh, potentially, I suppose, if people are desperate to re rename their hash mask, then the, the then these are going to go up in um, you know nine ten years time if you can be bothered to hold on for them for that long. Um, at the moment, they are quite plentiful and, and pretty cheap, so um, not so bad. But anyway, um, I think an interesting project, and this is the kind of stuff we like covering at that radar, um, an interesting kind of mixture of, of kind of uh, different theories and, and, and some interesting kind of artwork um, at the same time. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. This is um, uh, DAP Radar, where we spend all our time looking at DAPs and trying to make sense of what's going on and, and looking for the interesting things and doing videos about them. So please subscribe uh, to the channel if you like that sort of stuff. Uh, but thanks for watching, and see you again soon.